guys, it's Tori and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. We're not going to do anything with makeup here today. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about my experiences living in a small town and I kind of decided to add like my top five things I liked about it and the top five things that I hated about it and I thought that'd be kind of fun. Um, this is a lot more of a chill, relaxed sit back and chat kind of video, so I hope you guys enjoy it. This video today is actually a collab with my friend Jaden Renner here on YouTube. We actually grew up in the same um, small town. Uh, we have a little bit of an age difference, so I wasn't really in school with her ever, I don't think. We grew up in the same town, so I think that's really cool. So we decided to do a video about small towns. And for a little sneak peek on what's happening over in Jaden's channel, I will leave a clip here what it was like from living in a small town and then what it was like from going to a school of 200 people to 2,000 people and then like moving away from my hometown and all of that. So Jaden is going to be talking about kind of moving from a small town to a bigger town and I think that's really exciting so let's get started. First I'm going to tell you guys the top five things I loved about living in a small town. Top five things that I love about living in a small town. This was hard and then easy and some of the things it's like I love these things but I also hate them at the same time and uh, you'll understand why here in a second. Number one thing that I love about living in a small town is how fast it is to get everywhere. Like it takes five minutes maybe less to get across town. It's so nice and actually fun fact I grew up in a small town and I actually moved about 10 miles away from it to an even smaller town. My town literally has like one tiny tiny little grocery store but in the small town that I grew up in it had a big grocery store that I actually worked at for about two and a half years of my life so fun fact I was a courtesy booth manager there and it was a lot of fun I actually miss my job sometimes not gonna lie I just love how fast it was to get places like I could sleep until five minutes before I had to be somewhere and I could get up and go not that I would do that but that actually did happen a couple times like I woke up late for work and I just like threw my hair in a ponytail and walked out the door and it took me five minutes to get there and it was no big deal at all or like you know if you um, want to say you're getting ready for work or getting ready for school and uh, you want to sleep in you can sleep in longer because it doesn't take that long to get there I think that's like one of the best parts about living in a small town I actually moved to a bigger town at one point and it took me like 20 minutes just to get across town to like the grocery store or <laughs> to a certain fast food place I want to go to like it doesn't take that long to get across town in my small town the second thing that I love about living in a small town is basically knowing everyone. So this might actually be something that's kind of a sucky thing, but at the same time, it's kind of nice. That would be because knowing everyone makes it a lot easier just to get around in your daily life. Like I enjoy the fact that I can go somewhere and I know everybody there and I'm not surrounded by strangers, especially being somebody that has anxiety and I just like get all uncomfortable in situations where I, I don't know people it's really nice that I just know everybody everybody knows me and I mean it's always a friendly face and I feel a little bit safer in my small town because I know everybody I feel like that's a major advantage to living in a small town. The third thing that I love about living in a small town is the smaller school system. And for me, that's really awesome. I think Jaden was actually gonna talk about this in her video, but um, my school, I think my graduating class had anywhere from 55 to 60 students in it. I don't actually know how many to be exact. Um, but I know a lot of schools, you know, they have like 200 to 500 graduating students in their class. I knew everyone in my class, which kind of goes with the last point that I had. And it was just really nice to have a small school because it's one-on-one -on -one with teachers. The school isn't confusing to walk around. You, I mean, you don't have to worry about like getting lost in your school or not knowing where you're going. Um, again, you know everybody, you're comfortable, um, you're, you've got a close relationship with the teachers and the teachers care about you. They want you to succeed for the most part, unless you get one of those nasty ones and also one of the cool things about that is the opportunities to like get into certain positions is a lot easier and I know that's not like a 100% thing but if you're in a class full like 250 students and you're going for class president I mean odds are there's probably like 50 other kids going for that when you're in a class of like 50 kids there's probably maybe five kids going for something like that and I think it's nicer too because you just get like a close-knit community feeling you feel safe you feel secure and I, I think that's one of the things I just love about it which is safety which is my point number four. I feel very safe in my small town. Obviously, I know crime can happen just about anywhere, and things have happened in my small town before that have not been 
100% great, but I do feel like safe. Um, it's probably not the best thing in the world, but like I'll run into the gas station, leave my car running, leave my keys in my car, and I don't feel like I have to worry about my car being stolen. Um, at night, sometimes my car isn't locked, which again, I probably shouldn't tell you guys this. Somebody's gonna come over and, you know, I'm locking my car now. I should not say that in a video, but I just feel safe. You know, like you walk in your house and you don't lock the door right behind you. Like you leave the, the doors unlocked, you, you just, you feel safe, and I think that's one of the best parts for me about living in a small town is that safety that you feel. Granted, you should never feel too safe because anything can happen. So I'm giving really bad advice. Always lock your doors. Always keep your eyes out for danger because it is it is there. Even in small towns, danger is there. The number five thing that I love about living in a small town is the fact that everything is just a little bit cheaper. And when I say cheaper, I mean like cost of living. I know when you move to a bigger city, like rent is expensive. When I moved to a big city, my rent was over $1,000. When I was renting here in my small town, um, it cost about $500. And I know a lot of people would rent for like $250 to $400. So rent is so much cheaper. I don't really know much about when it comes to utilities. I know where I live now, my water bill is only like $40 a month and it's not that bad at all. I just feel like it's cheaper too because it doesn't take as long for you to like get across town. So when you go to the grocery store, you're not spending a whole bunch of money in gas because you're just driving across town. It's not that big of a deal. So I do feel like the cost of living in a small town is cheaper and it's nice and I, I just, I, I enjoy it. So now let's move on to the five things that I don't like about living in a small town. And it's not that I hate them. I know I said at the beginning of the video, it's five things I hate. It's not that I hate them. It's just something that's just not really ideal. Number one, no Walmart, no Target, no fun stores like that at all. And it drives me insane. My small town has a Dollar General and a grocery store and that's really it. We have drug stores, like, and by drug stores, I mean like local drug stores, not CVS, not Walgreens, just local drug stores that don't carry makeup in them, by the way. And um, it, you pretty much just buy your medicine and like home decor and leave. That drives me nuts. We do have, you know, a few like salons in town that sell clothes, but their clothes are heavily marked up and it's just, it just, I don't know. We don't have a mall. We don't have places to really go shopping. Um, groceries, I mean, we can get groceries in town. Sometimes the groceries are a little bit more expensive than they would be from like a Walmart. Um, and it just, it sucks that we don't have that opportunity to just run to the store really quick, like run to Walmart and pick up a whole bunch of, like for example, let me think of something that I would need. Say you wanna redo your house and you need to go buy tiles for your floor. We don't have a Home Depot here. We can't just go to Home Depot real quick. No, I have to drive like an hour to go to Home Depot, to go to Walmart, to go to any of those places. It's just, it's kind of unfortunate that we have to travel. Like pretty much either direction for me, it's about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes to get to a place that has those stores, like Walmart, a mall, all of that opportunity. So I guess on the plus side of that, it is kind of like a fun road trip and a fun day out every time you get to go to those stores because you don't really get the opportunity to do it on a daily basis. So it doesn't really get boring, which is, which is a plus. Number two thing that I really dislike about living in a small town is the limited food choices when it comes to going out to eat. My small town has a Subway, a Pizza Hut, and a Sonic, and that's really it for chain restaurants. Granted, we do have other restaurants, but we only have like five or six restaurants in town, and after that, you know, you just get really bored of the same food all the time. You just cycle through the same five to six restaurants all the time, and if you're someone who is single or doesn't wanna cook a lot, or you know, you just wanna go out to eat all the time, you're gonna get tired of your food really fast. And I actually have been that person that would go out to eat a lot and I'm trying really hard to contain it, eat at home, not spend so much money going out to eat. I love Mexican food though, oh my God. I just, I really wish we had other fun places. Like my favorite place to eat is Freddy's and Applebee's and we don't have that. I have to go out of town and then when I go out of town, I end up spending a ton of money that day because I'm going out to eat and I'm, um, going to Walmart and I'm going to the mall and I spend like my entire paycheck and then I'm like crap I'm broke for the rest of the month because I just spent all my money on my mini road trip just to go to Walmart the number three thing that I kind of dislike okay this one I actually hate is everyone knowing your business in a small town this goes hand in hand with the fact that you know everybody just because you know everybody doesn't necessarily mean that's always a good thing because everybody thinks they know your business or they do 
or they're making opinions about what you're doing and it's really annoying. So when you're in high school, it's always really bad because you start dating somebody new and everybody wants to say like, oh, I know that they're doing this or oh, I know that so-and-so cheated on so-and-so and oh my gosh, this person looked at them, they're obviously a thing. It's annoying and it's, it's just frustrating when people are in your business or like when you're a newlywed and they're like, oh, she's pregnant, she's gained weight. I know she's pregnant because look how fat she is. Like she's totally pregnant. And then next thing you know, the whole town thinks you're pregnant and you're not, you're just fat. <sighs> that totally didn't happen to me at all or anything. It's just really annoying when everybody thinks that they know your life when they don't. And that just, it's something that gets really old really fast. And that's probably the number one thing that I actually hate about small towns is just how nosy everybody is. And granted, in the long run, when a tragedy strikes or something happens, everybody comes together as one and the community is really great. But for the most part, those same rude people that always think they know your business. Ah, it's so irritating. That's the number four thing that can really suck about living in a small town is the lack of new people around. So you're pretty much around the same people all the time and you never really get that whole start fresh attitude. So you have to kind of move away to even really get that. I know like going to college is definitely something that a lot of people have done that's, you know, really helped them to blossom and then they don't come back because, you know, they don't want to because, you know, bigger cities, small towns, whatever. I know for me when I was going to cosmetology school, I was driving an hour there and then an hour back every day and I would make these awesome friends that I couldn't really hang out with because I didn't live there so I didn't get to hang out with them so everybody else was hanging out and having all this fun together and I was just like the awkward one that they talked to at school. It's fine. <laughs> that is something that sucks is that you don't get the opportunity to meet new people and you have to like get out of the town to meet new people especially in the dating pool like I know I'm obviously not dating now I'm married but when I was dating it was a pain in the butt because you know you would date somebody and then you'd be like, okay, I know everybody here. There's no one here that I want to date. What the heck am I supposed to do? Like, who am I supposed to date now? Um, and then you try to download apps and then the apps don't work and then people are only like on there for the wrong reasons. And it really sucks. So that is definitely a negative to living in a small town for sure. And number five is less job opportunities. I think this one is definitely one of the worst things is the fact that a lot of the times the jobs that are going to make you a lot of money are already filled by older um, people or people who have been in those positions for years and then when the position does open it's kind of about who you are and what your name is to get that job or you have to know the right person or say this person's retiring from this job position but you have a better chance of getting it because you're their nephew or you're their best friend's dog's sister. I don't know, <laughs> that didn't make any sense. I mean, that kind of goes with like the whole less opportunity. I really should have included that in there, the whole like what your last name is thing matters because in small towns, they can sit there and they can tell you that that doesn't matter, but trust me, it does. It does suck because you know, you try to find jobs and then you end up doing jobs that you don't really necessarily like just because it's a small town and it's all that there is to offer that's gonna make you any money. Moving away from a small town, obviously you're going to be opened up to so many more jobs and so many more opportunities. And I think that's so great, but small towns definitely suck. Like I said, I worked at a grocery store for two and a half years, um, not consecutively, like a year and then a year and a half, but um, I did work there for two and a half years. It was fun. It's pretty much the only job in town aside from being a teacher that I would want to do so that's why I'm going to school to be a teacher right now because I don't want to do anything else and I don't really want to work at the grocery store forever because as much as I like working there it does not pay enough for me to like live <laughs> efficiently and successfully it's just not it's just not happening okay guys so there you go there are some of my reasons why I love a small town and why I dislike living in a small town so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video be sure to go check out Jaden's I'm excited to watch Jaden's video because she's got some cool insight for moving from a small town to a big city. Like, heck yeah, I'm excited to see that video. So make sure you go check out her video. The link to her channel and the link to her video will be in the description box down below. Also, if you didn't know this already, I do also have a second channel that I post book-related videos on in the whole booktube universe. So I will also have that channel linked down below so you can go check out my book videos if that's something that interests you. And I will see all of you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone.